Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. Today I have a pretty big update that I want to show you. We just pushed a new feature to the Merchant Former Products Designer. What this feature is going to allow you to do is add any type of mask or filter to any part of your design and you'll be able to switch it up and download different variations depending on if you want to change up the feel of your design or maybe you want to change it for the seasonality. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The Merchant Former Product Designer is a free designer that we added for anyone who's already subscribed to Merchant Former. So if you're not, make sure to click the link below. Go over and try a free day, free trial. So if you are inside of the Merchant Former Product Designer, you're going to see this. I made a little design here, as you can see. We added a new feature down here. We called it Mask. Now, if you're not familiar with what a mask is, it's essentially a filter that we can add on top of our design. I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So so we'll be able to upload a mask here. Let me show you. I'm just going to drag and drop this over here. All right, so as you can see, we've uploaded a mask here. Now all you need to do once you drag and drop it or click upload mask is select it and it's going to put it on your design. Now I'm going to resize the mask layer here and I'm going to put it right over the Merchant Former logo. So I can choose to mask the text or the logo or really any part of the design, but I'm going to put it over the logo such as this and all you have to do is click apply. Now after you've applied it, the mask is going to be on the image. Now if you don't like the mask, you can come here, click the X and it's going to remove the layer. But however, let's just say that we do like the mask for now and we want to download it, simply click download. And we can open it up and there you see that Merch Informer, the logo right here is masked and this you can upload straight to Merch by Amazon. Now, let's say that we don't like that mask and we want to do something else. So we can come back here. Remember, you can always click the X. What I did is I just simply removed the mask layer. Let's say that you want to change the look and the feel of the design. Maybe you want to do kind of a trippy, trippy mask. So I'm going to upload this. This is an image I found on Pixabay. Remember, any image that you can use as a filter or a mask, remember that you need to make sure that it has commercial rights so that you don't get in trouble with Merch by Amazon. You see, I uploaded this. Again, Nothing. no mask is selected here. I'm going to select this mask, and maybe I want to put this over the text. So you put it over the text, and all you have to do is click Apply, and all of a sudden, all of the, test, the text is now masked. Again, you can download this. It's going to prepare it for us, and then it's going to download, which I can then open, and as you see, the text is now masked. Again, if you don't like it, simply click off of it or click the X and the mask and filter will go away. So you can upload any filter you want to any part of your design, download it and upload it to Merch by Amazon. Super quick and effective. It changes up your design so you can easily do variations, different seasonality type stuff and really fill up your slots with stuff that's going to sell. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to click the link down below. Check out a free day, free trial. You can play around with the designer as much as you want as soon as you log in. All you have to do is click the designer at the very top of Merchant Former. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, make sure to drop them below. Like this video and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.